Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another wood brew video. This week we're building an awesome sofa out of a single sheet of plywood and some hairpin legs. So let's get started. The very first step is we're taking a full four by eight sheet of plywood. It's very crucial that we get our measurements right. There's a link in the description below for plans. We're gonna cut this thing roughly in half to a specific measurement here just to break it down and be able to do the rest of the chores easier. All right, so we're gonna use our Makita track saw here to break the sheet of plywood down. It's pretty important that we get this straight and a good cut the first try. Track saws are very expensive. This one's not even that good, uh, but Rockler sells these cool straight edges and uh, many other companies do too as well, but we've used this one and it works super, super good. So I'd recommend picking one of these up if you just have a circular saw and you need to make really straight cuts. This comes in an eight foot length as well. We're just gonna use our track saw because we got it. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna make sure we cut this perfectly and then we're gonna take it all over to the table saw and we're gonna get started on this project. This right here is our back panel that your back's gonna lean against. This over here is our pre-cut uh, bottom section that your butt's gonna sit on. These two need to be exactly the same in the design. So what I'm about to do is lay this one on top of here and trace out the length of this one and this one so that they are perfectly the same length. On the last one of these that we did, I didn't do this and I just used a tape measure and they were off by like a 32nd of an inch. And normally that's not <laughs> Cat just walked like a boardwalk basically. Anyway, so last time we didn't do this, we tried to use a tape measure to measure these two and normally that works out, but we were like a 32nd of an inch off and it bugged me because there was like a 30 seconds of an inch gap right at the very, very bottom. So we're gonna fix that this time by just cutting right on that line. Make things a little bit simpler. So here is the secondary bottom piece right here. Now it's gonna have side pieces that go like this and then those are gonna match up with the main bottom piece like that if you follow me. So we basically need to take two widths of plywood we're using away from one side, if that makes sense. More or less it needs to be an inch and a half shorter than the other piece so that these two pieces in theory will sit flush with the edge. But as you know, three quarter inch plywood is not exactly three quarter inch plywood. So the trick here is to use two pieces like this, set them here, and then just trace the line. So we know exactly what that measurement should be. So we get it perfectly flush after we add our two end pieces. Makes sense in a little bit. So here's our side panel that we're about to cut right here. We need this 10 degree angle for the backrest. Now these measurements are pretty crucial because they make everything else we've done line up correctly. So this measurement is gotta be pretty much spot on. Now we've actually built two of these sofas and the first one we used the table saw to cut these angles and that worked all right. But this time we're gonna try the track saw just because we already have it out and we're already using it but definitely a miter gauge on a table saw would work just as well. That 
That is definitely a lot easier than using the miter gauge. How accurate is it? It's probably close enough for what we're doing. Now, if you wanna know what all these measurements are, like I said before, we do have a set of plans down this link in the description below. Go check those out. We sell really great plans. You'll really love them. It's PDF format. You download it straight away. And you have all the steps, including a model, a 3D model that say you're building this for a client. You can show them the 3D model in advance. And it's a great, it's a great little product. So highly recommend it. Link in the description below. I wanted to tell you guys about these screws that we've been using in a bunch of our projects recently. These were provided to us by FastCap, but I don't think we've done enough justice telling you guys how awesome these things actually are. So there's basically a flush trim drill bit system here. It's adjustable. And what it does is creates basically a countersink as well as a countersink for this giant flat head of power head screw. And it looks really amazing. So what we've done here is we've actually just left all these exposed and they're going to be a design feature in our table instead of just trying to hide them. Now the other cool thing about these is, is that they sell fast caps and those actually stick over these. You can get all different finishes, unfinished, anything you want and those just plug basically these holes and they're sticking. So it's super, super easy. Awesome, awesome system. Anyway, there's links in the description below if you guys want to check it out because really and truly these are one of the coolest things I think that we've picked up and started using in the shop recently. Last piece of the puzzle is going in. It is the back piece. I've pre-drilled all of the holes to make assembling it a bit easier. Here we go. We're getting ready to install the hairpin legs and we're just gonna make a one and a half inch mark from either side. And this is gonna allow us to know how far in to place the hairpin legs. Before we install these, I wanna tell you guys about this product because it's pretty darn cool. These are half inch, really heavy duty, uh, custom made hairpin legs from DIYhairpinlegs.com. They'll make them to any size and spec you want, which is really, really nice order them they show up within like a week or something crazy pick any finish we chose a clear coat so it's natural and then they put a really durable clear coat on there which is surprisingly like thick and industrial feeling anyway if you're interested in these you can check the link in the description below we have an affiliate based program with them where you can grab some hairpin legs for yourself and get them uh, made to any size you want i believe these are 13 inch 13 inch perfect yeah these are 13 inch hairpin legs Get them made to any size you really need. So 
Sometimes the unexpected happens. Our screws were a little bit too long. We're gonna chop them off with the grinder. Uh, we want to make sure that we have the biggest screws possible in there because these hairpin legs are going sort of in a commercial space, so they're gonna get used every day. I want to make sure that they stay on there. So after we put the hairpin legs on, we went ahead and put three coats of polycoat. This stuff does a great job of keeping that original plywood look, which is what we're going for. Then we went online and searched for a cushion. Now we specifically designed these benches to work with most, most outdoor bench cushions. So you have plenty of options when looking. We'll leave a link in the description below to the one that we used. It comes in a bunch of different colors if you decide to build this for yourself. If you do decide to build it, check the link in the description below for the set of plans because we have super detailed plans down there that'll really help you out in this build. Now that's gonna do it for this week's project. Stick around for a second. We are gonna show you the end product, putting them in place. But anyway, guys, we will see you next week.